Good morning everyone. A few videos ago I made this and I'll leave the link to this below um, in the description box and what I'm going to do today is a triptych and you may be asking it looks like tic-tac-toe or noughts and crosses as they call it in England but what I want to show you is um, in this the rule of thirds Basically, you divide a painting or a composition before you've even started it into thirds. Thirds vertically and thirds horizontally. And by that, what happens is you end up with a focal point in this. It happens to be the center, but the focal point doesn't really always have to be in the center. It just makes it aesthetically pleasing to the human eye and they may not even know what they're looking at if it's an abstract, but even abstracts should have the rule of third. Otherwise, they don't always work. Um, an abstract that's really planned out does follow these rules. Paint pouring is a little different because it's a bit unpredictable, but it's still possible to follow the rule of thirds when, when tipping where you want your focal point to be and you see lines like meeting certain thirds and, and a good way to do it is I'm going to move this aside in the beginning you don't have to actually draw on your canvas in in this instance I've got three wooden panels um, and I've drawn on them the rule of thirds on each one because I'm going to demonstrate I'm going to do another three-dimensional um, triptych in this case and it's harder to do it on a panel of three but I'm going to roughly show you how to do it with pencil and you can do this if you got a piece of acetate and drew your rule of three the size of your canvas and placed it over and worked out where your best focal point was so maybe I would want my focal point to be in this quadrant. Then I would, and let's say, I'm not doing a triptych because that's more complicated. But then what I would do is I would line up certain areas of the canvas that would bring, so maybe, maybe this part would cover here, the next part would cover here, the next part would cover here, and it would draw your eye up, up to there. Um, that's the basis. I mean, like, this is something you learned in art school, which actually takes a while to grasp, but it's not as difficult as it sounds if you get it. So before I actually begin the 3D tutorial, I'm just going to kind of sketch out my plan. So what I'm going to do to make it very simple is out of the three panels, I'm going to try to make this area my focal point. So back again, you know, here I used um, molding paste to make the beaches. I'm going to do the same thing, but it's going to be on a triptych. And we'll go into the details of resin and matte finishes later. So here, what I'm going to do is have my sky on the top third. That's my decision. And then, so I'm going to have some land coming down here. Give me a rocky point and I'm going to finish it around about here. So here I'm beginning in my, my um, top two thirds and coming down and finishing it here. On this panel, I want this to finish kind of here. So this is going to be a shallower piece of land. And it's going to finish here and go kind of here. So you can see I've got a third, this one finishes at a third, this starts at a third, and it finishes at a third. So really the focal point is going to be here and the sky is going to be all at the top. So that is like a nutshell version of the rule of thirds and 
then when they're all finished and obviously the lines are going to be gone as I put the molding paste on top and the paint and the resin you won't even see the pencil lines and I wouldn't normally draw on my canvas I would use an acetate sheet with the rule of thirds according to the size just to you know help me plan it out and I don't do that anymore because I've been doing this for like I don't know 20 years um, but it's a good way to to kind of train yourself even if you're just doing pure paint pouring get an acetate draw your grid of tic-tac-toe or noughts and crosses and place it over and just say like is this really appealing and maybe if you turned it the other way is that really appealing turn it the other way maybe that's the way and you can do it like before it's dry and holding it up and um thinking no you know what i need to pour some more paint on this bit and i'm talking about an abstract i don't even know if i have a, a pour around i think i've sold them all but anyway um yeah just so you can before it's dry work out you know what i need to pour paint over that bit because it's it nothing makes sense and turn it around turn it around turn it around i'm not talking about a landscape or a seascape i'm talking about just a general um dirty pour so i did manage to find an abstract that i used in i guess one of my videos as an example so um if you go back to the video and i think it was in one of my acrylic 101 pouring um videos and the reason i don't sell these is because i use them on the short canvases i only really sell work that's on gallery canvases unless you want to buy it email me but anyway here's a perfect example of the rule of thirds so this was a um, swipe that i did and it may have looked like when you're doing it um, and i'll find the video and i will put the link below this in the description and you'll see how this was done and it may look random but it's not random so what i've done here's an acetate sheet don't need that one and if you place this on top you'll see that it follows the rule of thirds and as these swipes begin to kind of fade off they all fade off in that third so you may think okay where is the focal point now the focal point on an abstract like this isn't as defined as an abstract or not as a painting like this the focal point is definitely here and it leads your eye around the composition but here i would say it almost has three focal points probably the brightest here but that will bring you up and then it'll draw your eye over the canvas like that. Now, if I were going to do this this way, and obviously it doesn't, I don't have it down, it doesn't work. So I wouldn't hang it that way because it doesn't really make any sense. Nothing is lined up with the rule of thirds. If I did it this way, yeah, that still works. We've got the rule of thirds and the flow is aesthetically pleasing. If I did it this way, it almost works this way because you've got the bold swipe here and they begin to taper off. So it actually would work that way. And that shows you how you can kind of figure out how to place your painting again. This does not work. So, back to my three panels. Anyway, I hope this has made sense. And it's just a quick rule of thirds. I will um, be making a video on this seascape very soon. And I will hope to see you in that video. Thanks for watching.